schools that can cheat. We can have tourists that can cheat. But we also have people who are willfully to tamper with the examination system and process. And during the marking process, we identify where students and schools have cheated in the exams. And if, if and when we find out that a school or a student has cheated, uh, we have very punitive actions we take. For example, that student cannot be certified at all. A school can be deregistered. Welcome back to PNG Trends Burner. In today's video, we're diving into a hot topic, exam cheating. Join us as we uncover the hidden truths and reveal what the education department isn't telling you about cheating in exams. Let's get started. The education department has done a commendable job in curbing nationwide exam cheating since the early 2000s. We have to give them that. Back then, exam papers leaked in the Upper Highlands would travel to Madang or Lay and be sold before the exams. But today, leaked papers can spread even faster through WhatsApp, Facebook, Telegram, and other social media platforms. However, the good news is interprovincial exam cheating is a thing of the past. The education department uses different exam formats for various provinces, even individual schools. This minor tweak in the arrangement of the exam questions works well today. So, if someone hijacks a maths exam paper in Gila province and sells it in Southern Highlands province, students there will get all the answers wrong during marking. This happened to Asaroka Secondary School in Eastern Highlands province in 2012. Recently, a private school in Eastern Highlands province was suspected of cheating. That prompted the education secretary to explain one of the security measures implemented by his department. Tumulations papers that we sent out, uh, they are covered with this very special um, cover here. That the red uh, strip of tape you see here is very special. Uh, that means that when you open it up, so when you open it, if you, somebody does it earlier, then it will say void, opened. So that one appears if you open this uh, tape. Whether that has happened, uh, whilst the department has taken all precautions and we've engaged police and supervision systems, security systems, to make sure that the exams are secure. But wait, how is cheating in grade 12 exams still happening? And, importantly, is cheating really happening? Schools, parents and the higher education institutions are asking these questions. The answer is, yes, every year. What? Does the education department know? Yes, they do. This might not make sense at first, but here is how it works. Cheating in exams has now become an organized activity in some schools in the Upper Highlands, especially in Gila and areas where law and order is weak. And, teachers and principals know they can cheat their way to the top. The irony is that the education department knows, but fails to penalize these schools. So, how does the education department or the measurement services board, MSB, know about cheating? Each year, exam markers report instances of cheating during and after the grade 12 exams across all subjects. When cheating is detected, detailed reports with recommendations for investigation and action are presented. If you ask any grade 12 exam marker, they'll tell you that cheating often becomes evident during marking when students from the same school submit identical solutions in a maths or word-for-word -word answers in English exam questions. These red flags are promptly reported to the Education Department and MSB. In 2022, a grade 12 marker wrote to the national newspaper. He said, quote, As a grade 12 teacher and a selected marker in the national grade 12 examinations this year, there are certain issues which the Education Department's Measurement Services Division, MSD, needs to address to the teachers, parents and students on the actions that they have taken accordingly. Many genuine students have missed out in the selections and thus, deserve to know the truth. Firstly, the grade 12 national examinations was obviously rigged and exam papers were distributed across the country. Students already have access to exam papers prior to the exam. Cheating took place in most schools in the country, especially in the Upper Highlands region. This was evident during invigilation and the marking sessions. Most students have identical answers as if the answers were photocopied and given to students by a teacher. There were so many indicators of cheating identified but this just to name a few. Unquote. So, why has the education department failed to penalize these schools? There are a few reasons. Time-bound marking and results, examination is time-bound, here you are looking at two to four weeks. 
As soon as markers finish marking thousands of papers, MSB finalizes the results and sends them to the Higher Education Ministry for selection. By then, the issue is forgotten until the next year. It's too late to act. Naivety of education officers, officials are often reluctant to single out schools from specific provinces for fear of becoming unpopular to the politicians from those provinces. Funding issues, the examination process consumes most of the education department's funds. Once the MSB runs the exams and submits the results, funds are nearly exhausted. There's no money left for investigations. Students are gone, but by the time cheating is discovered, grade 12 students involved are already selected to universities and colleges. You think this is insane, something has to be done, right? And there are mechanisms to detect anomalies and, you know, behaviors and the patterns in the exams and the, through the marking process and through the security controls, uh, secretary has strongly, uh, you know, authorized us to implement. My ultimate point is, every citizen, whether educated, uneducated, you know, town man, bush man, every man have the, you know, responsibility to ensure, you know, national exams are protected, supported, and the purpose is achieved. Uh, it's good, it's, it's in the interest of all of us. Uh, thank you. Thank you. And we'd like to just uh, make an emphasis on the examinations. Uh, the examinations is an end. Uh, an event that takes place at the end of every cycle of education. Uh, it's actually designed to assess understanding and knowledge of every student, uh, what he or she has learned uh, during each level of education. Um, uh, cheating especially prevents students from truly engaging with the material and hindering their learning and intellectual growth. Uh, we want to see who has worked hard, who has committed himself or herself to education. We believe that Cheating undermines the values and honesty of honesty and integrity, and we would like to see that these principles must be uh, upheld in every uh, education environment and every situation. So at the end, if any student is found cheating, you will not receive any certificate or, at all. You will receive zero. I can guarantee you that. If any school or headmaster is involved, any teachers involved, you will be deregistered. De you will be charged in discipline. So we will not compromise the standards of our education system with any single person in the education system involving in cheating. The education department has failed by letting these schools and students escape unpunished. Schools and their management in cheating-prone provinces are known to the education department and MSB. While nationwide cheating has been curbed, school-level cheating continues. If the education department doesn't penalize schools, cheating will persist. Principals and teachers will continue to facilitate cheating. In conclusion, cheating in grade 12 exams continues to be a significant issue, especially in Gila and the Upper Highlands provinces. This report should serve as a call to action for the Education Minister, Education Secretary, and MSB officials to thoroughly review past Chief Marker's reports, identify the schools involved in cheating, and use this year's findings to enforce penalties. It's time to take decisive action by excluding schools involved in cheating from grade 12 selections. Let's ensure fairness to everyone and integrity in our education system. Parents and students, we want to hear from you. Share your thoughts on exam cheating in the comments below.